Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown with Gar OTD23. Yes, that's how you say my name. Please don't get it wrong anymore, guys. I know it might be a little confusing, but it's Gara OTD23. Um, <clears throat> this is with my OU team, uh, changing it up a little bit. I changed out Magmatar, a very, very loved Pokemon in my opinion, to the Rotom Cut uh, Choice Specs variant with the Trick, Leaf Storm. Hidden Power Fire, and uh, something else. Hidden Power Fire, Trick, Leaf Storm, and something. And he's, he's doing good, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I changed Dredagon to a specially defensive set. That way I've got uh, him as a, as a defensive thing, and then Slowking as a defensive thing. He's also specially offensive, and then Uxie is kind of my... Uh, Mixed Defender, he's got mostly defense, but also a bunch of special defense. And uh, Rotom can take a bunch of hits, and then uh, basically two hit KO things with his stabs. Uh, Absol uh, is, of course, my revenge killer. Electivire, my special attacker. Um, no, physical attacker, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this game. It's with a guy named I'm Bored. I don't know if he has a channel. He kind of left pretty fast. I'm gonna lead off with my my sleepy. He's gonna lead off with Dredigon. So I'm like, I'm just gonna start. You know, I know I'm faster than you, so I'm gonna Thunder Wave. Actually, I didn't know, but it, it just worked out that way. So he goes for his rocks, and uh, I'm I believe here I'm just gonna go for my rocks as well and see what he wants to do because I can know, I know I can take hits from him. He goes for Outrage, so I'm thinking I know he's not choiced in any way, so maybe he's. Expert belts it because I don't see a life orb recoil there. Uh, so I just go for psychic, uh, just to see how much it would do. Really, um, he goes for another outrage. So I really don't know what kind of set he's running, uh, but he, you know, I live the two. It's a three hit KO on his part. So uh, you know, now he's paralyzed and confused. So I'm just gonna U turn out of there, which I guess was kind of dumb because I take the damage from the rough skin. But I, I decide to uh, go into my Sergey. So I know I could probably take one hit from him, he, or I could, you know, either be paralyzed or use a bigger to be a safe switch in. And uh, I, I thought I would threaten him out, and uh, he does. So I go for uh, the cross chop. I thought he would bring in the Krogano. Uh, I don't know why, but or or the Zangus to maybe try and earthquake me or something. But I go for the cross chop. It doesn't really do much, uh, of course, because Quillfish has the intimidate. So yeah, uh, he then switches out, but I was going to go for the Wild Charge, as you see he brings in the Dredagon again. Uh, so I'm going for the Wild Charge, it does absolutely nothing to him, but I take Rough Scan and of course the Recoil there. And I'm like, he, he must not think that I have the Ice Punch because I didn't ever go for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for it now. As he goes for a Sucker Punch, and that um, actually does a, a very decent chunk, but I can then take him out with the Ice Punch. So that's the end of Dredicon, so he's one down, and I'm almost one down, so actually almost two down. He then brings in the Zangoose, and I don't really know what he's going to do, so I just stay in and uh, do the safe, or just don't want to overpredict, I go for Cross Chop here. He has Quick Attack, and Quick Attack takes me out. Then I see he's got Toxic Orb, so I know he's got Guts. So I, I'm going to bring in Raven, because I know I can uh, outspeed him with Choice Scarf, yeah, or I can't outspeed him, but I know I can take a quick attack, at least one, because it's not stab, or, or it's stab, but I mean, it's only got 40 base power, for Christ's sake. So, I don't, I mean, I don't know if he's got technician or whatever, I just figured, bring in Raven, go for the choice scarf, superpower, you know, that's what, that's what I did, and that's how I ended up, I don't know if that was a smart play, or a dumb play, but I mean, you know, I knew, I just, I figured, you know, what could he really do to me other than quick attack, so... Uh, bring him, he brings in Coolfish, I bring in my Toro to try and scare him out. Toro, if you don't know, is a uh, lawnmower brand. Um, they're actually really cool, really good lawnmowers from what I'm told. I don't know. I, I didn't want to overpredict again uh, because I didn't take out the Dreadagon when I could have ice punched him. So I go for the Leaf Storm, and that still does a pretty good chunk to this Rotom Mo, his Rotom. Uh, he goes for the Volt Switch, and I'm, I've got Choice Specs. So, um, that basically means that I'm at regular special tech right now, which is pretty high. So, I know I can 2 and KO the Rotom, so he's probably just trying to, uh, 
you know, um, stall me out with my special attack and stuff going down. But um, he's gonna rapid spin, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for another leaf storm just to take out the cry, cry out. Yeah, that's how it's cry out them though. I guess that's how you say it out. So yeah, I go for that another leaf storm just to take out that thing. And he's gonna bring an Entei, and I'm like, you're gonna flare blitz me, aren't you? You majestic bastard. Uh, so I bring an Astaroth because, well, I just I didn't know what else. I could have brought in the uh, my Slow King, but he's basically all like a special now. So I didn't want I didn't know if he could take a hit from an Entei. I don't know if he's choice banned or not. So I was just kind of foddering off Astaroth because he's kind of um, I just want, I didn't I didn't want to lose Slow King. I didn't want to use Luxu yet. So. Uh, Astaroth had to die um, to the Entei, right. so that... Then, uh, also, him doing the Flare Blitzes brings him down to Revenge Killer range. Um, I know he's got extreme speed, but from what I... I thought he was Choice Bandit, so... I just brought in my Raven, of course, and I'm gonna go for my Night Slash. I get a crit, but the fucking thing lives with one HP? Like, what kind of BS is that? Like, how defensive is a boof? It's like, that's just ridiculous. And so, you know, I gotta I got do Night Slash again to take out the Quillfish. So now, I'm up four, he's, uh, he's down, like, he's got two left. Uh, of course, he's gonna bring in the Entei, and I don't want anything else to take an extreme speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, my precious Raven fall to an extreme speed from the Entei. But then I'm gonna bring in Pantalones, uh, my Slow King, and uh, basically just try and stall this thing out, because he's choice locked into uh, freaking extreme speed, so uh, it's a three hit KO from where I'm at, so uh, because of lefties. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paralyze and try and get some hacks in and just go for slack offs until I get a pair of hacks so I can like get up to full. Then I'm gonna take him down with either Skulls or Psy Shock because he can bring in his Rotom but I know I can take hits from him because uh, I'm, like I said, max special defense and slow keeps my special wall. At this point, I just decided to go for the skull because it looks like he's just gonna keep Entei in here. Um, I don't know why, but you know that's what he decided to do. So now he's gonna bring in his Rotom Mo. His Rotom Mo is at 30%, and I'm like, I can salvage. Oh, uh, I can, or actually, I just let. Uh, I don't know why I let Pentalones die. I mean, I guess I could have switched in my Rotomo to uh, keep him alive, but I just wanted to—I wanted to free su switch it, and I wanted to see what he was going to do. Uh, but he's locked. Oh, he's obviously locked in the Leaf Storm because he went for it again. And I'm going to go for my Hidden Power Fire to take out the Rotomo. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the game on that one, guys. So apparently, your boy is getting good at this Ru stuff. So um, let me know what you guys think about this team. This is the uh, latest reversion of my team. I'm going to upload one a little bit after this one. I'm uploading one, but that's a, re a revision that happened before this one. So, uh, yeah. Just let me know what you guys think of this one and that team. And, of course, um, I'll leave a question with you guys. Which is your favorite Rotom form and why? Uh, my favorite is, like, the just the regular Rotom because he looks the coolest. Uh, I, not not like the fridge one's not cool or anything, but you know, haha! Ha, look at that! I just made a funny. Oh, 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 yeah, my favorite Rotom's the regular Rotom because he's a uh, he's just fucking cool to me. I mean, I think they're all fucking cool. But which one's your favorite Rotom, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like because I know you enjoyed it, and subscribe because I know you guys like getting cookies every day. Come back for some more cookies and bring your friends. Help me get my name out there, guys. Um, if you have a channel and you want to battle me, of course I'll battle you. Even if I lose, I'll post it and I'll link things to your channel. Just help me out, guys. I need subscribers and I need likes and stuff. That's what I need. I need that. So, yes, favorite Rotom. What is it? Like, comment, subscribe. Challenge me. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, peace. Self. So.